Fox News has decided they're going to take a page out of CNN's book. They're going to cover the missing Malaysian uh, flight, and they're going to put their, uh, one of their top uh, brain trust anchors on it, Bill Hemmer. And he's going to say something fascinating to a so-called expert. Let's watch. So what they're using is radar tracks that they have on tape, trying to triangulate them as best they can and determine approximately what altitude. But you can't, go, you can't take that from right. gospel. So it took us, what, 100 years to fly the, uh, find the Titanic? It took us 2,000 years to find Noah's Ark. Yeah. Do we ever find Flight 370? Oh, I think we fly in flight, flight 370 much more, much sooner than those two things, thank God. What? <laughs> Did he just say it took us 2,000 years to find Noah's Ark? I don't know if he's referring to the movie that just came out, <laughs> but I can assure you we did not find Noah's Ark. <laughs> oh, Bill. <laughs> Here at the Young Turks, uh, we have a good and open question as to who is uh, less bright, Brian Kilmeade or Bill Hemmer. That's a tough contest, man. Now look, Brian Kilmeade is far more obnoxious and pointedly so, but Bill, Bill, we didn't find the Ark. It, we so didn't find the Ark, every, you know, every once in a while you'll see these you know, specials on television and evangelical Christians who went and found it on Mount Ararat in Turkey. We've got it. We fit. There was wood on top of the mountain. How do you think it got there? And it's 4,800 years old, perfectly aligned with the 6,000 years that the earth has been around, and that's what the flood would have been. Okay, that has been so thoroughly debunked that even Andrew Snelling of the Creation Ministries International said, oh, it's kind of embarrassing, dude. <laughs> Here's his quote. As Christians, we need to always exercise due care when claims are made, no matter who makes them. And any claims must always be subjected to the most rigorous scientific scrutiny. If that had happened here, and particularly if the scientific surveys conducted by highly quali qualified professionals using sophisticated instruments had been more widely publicized and the results taken note of, then these claims would never have received the widespread credence that they have. Now, the reality is, of course, they haven't uh, received much widespread credence, except in Bill Hemmer's head. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bill. <laughs> Bill, Bill, Bill.